Hello and welcome to another video about Superforms. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up the MailChimp add-on together with the register and login add-on to both register a new user while also subscribing them to a MailChimp newsletter. This was a question from someone recently so I'm going to demonstrate how you can achieve this because you have to do a couple of things in order to accomplish this. The first is that the MailChimp add-on requires you to have a field named email in order to subscribe the user to the list. So the problem here is that the register and login add-on requires a field named, named user underscore email. So what you can do now is basically you can add a hidden field to your form. And you can make it be named after user email. And now if you edit this field, you can make it a variable. You can do that by going here, general, and then scrolling down to conditional variable or in other terms, dynamic value. Now you can enable it. And now the only thing you have to do is leave both of these conditions empty, but set it to equal so this condition will always be true so now you can basically simply retrieve the email and set it as the value for the user underscore email field so you can do that by using the tag email now update the element and now as soon as the user fills out this element the same value will be applied to the user underscore email now, a cool thing to do is to add a HTML element to your form. And with this element, you can basically debug the values of both of these elements. So you are sure that the variable field is working correctly. So the first one we're going to output is the email. And the second one is user underscore email. So let's do that as well now the thing with the register and login add-on is that you require a user email field a user login field and a password field but the password is optional but i'm gonna add both of these as well so we can add a password field to our form and this password field should be named user underscore pass now I'm going to add a text field, which will be used for our uh, login name. And this one needs to be called user underscore login, like so. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that you could have a user login name that is equal to the email address. So you could Basically, you could do the same thing with the user login and just retrieve the email address and set it as the email address. But then again, you have to make it a variable field. So in this demonstration, I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to give the user the opportunity to enter their email address and a separate login name. So I'm going to also call this the login or username. So username as placeholder as well. I'm going to set validation require it. And I'm going to change. No, that's about it. Okay, we can close this. Now, one thing to do is the uh, registration uh, information or basically the settings. So we can go to the form settings over here. And I, I'm disabling the emails for this form. I also don't really need to save the entry, contact entry. So I'm going to disable that as well. I'm going to go to the register and login section. And I'm going to set the action to register a new user. I'm going to change the user role to customer. I'm going to change this to not send the verification email. And... I'm not going to log in this user because uh, it 
it's easy for me to demonstrate that the user is actually registered in the backend. So this is the login page URL. This is required for if you are sending a verification email in order to uh, basically redirect them to a login page where they can verify their account or email basically with a code. So we can just ignore this for this demonstration. The rest can be left as uh, default. It's important to have this as active if you want the use to be able to instantly use their account. So always leave this active unless you want an admin to uh, basically approve a registration manually before they can do anything on your site. So that looks about right. So let's rename this to register and subscribe to news letter now as you notice in the beginning we already had the mailchimp set up over here if you don't know how to do that you can watch the other video about the mailchimp add-on now i'm gonna save the form and i'm gonna create a new page with the same name so I'm pasting this and I'm going to grab the short code of the form and I'm going to paste it on the page here. Now I'm going to publish the page and I'm going to view the page in a new window. Now we can fill out this form and what will happen is the user will be registered and they will also be subscribed to our newsletter. So if I go to my audience, audience in MailChimp, and I go to all contacts, you can see there's zero contacts at the moment. Now I'm going to generate a new email, a temporary test email. <clears throat> I'm going to copy that and I'm going to now fill out this form. Now I'm going to grab a username as well and the password, same as username for this demonstration. I'm going to fill out an example email, I mean phone number, and I'm going to select interest, sport, and politics. Now, as you can see, we are debugging the output of both the email and user email, which is exactly what we wanted because they are both the same now. So the register and login uh, add-on will work because this value is available to the add-on and this value is available to the MailChimp add-on. So now we can submit the form. And as you can see, it says, thank you for subscribing because this is what we have set up in the previous video. So go watch that as well. And now if we go to our audience, we should see a new user. Yeah. So the new user is now subscribed with a custom phone number and sports and politics as their interests. So that works. And now let's check if our backend has the new user as well. As you can see, the new user was created with the custom customer role. So that's basically how you can set up uh, the MailChimp add-on uh, in combination with the register and login add-on. So I hope this video is helpful for you and let me know if you have any questions or comments down below and yeah, have a nice day. Take care.